Aloha future Vikings! This informational video will teach you everything you need to prepare for your future at Hilo High School. First, we will go over the graduation requirements for a high school diploma. Next is an overview of each of the six CTE career pathways. Section 3 goes over the different electives available, as well as a list of recommended electives for your first year in high school. Interested in clubs, student activities, and athletics? Pay close attention to Section 4 as we list the different clubs and student activities offered as well as a special message from the Athletic Director on Hilo High Athletics. In this presentation, we will be making use of short videos and even interviews to give you a better look into a certain subject. Section 1. Graduation Requirements A Hawaii High School Diploma shall be issued to students who meet the following minimum course and credit requirements. English. Four credits including English Language Arts 1 and 2 and Expository Writing Social Studies 4 credits including World History and Culture U.S. History Modern History of Hawaii and Participation in a Democracy Mathematics 3 credits including Algebra 1 and Geometry Science 3 credits including Biology 1 and 2 Science Electives Physical Education, one credit within the two semester courses. Health, one half credit. Personal Transition Plan, half credit. Electives, six credits, may include one elective credit for senior project. Two credits in one of the specified programs of study in Road Language, Fine Arts, or Career and Technical Education or known as CTE. With all subjects combined, 24 credits are required to receive a high school diploma. Section 2, Career Technical Education, CTE Career Pathways. The State of Hawaii recognizes six career pathways, each based on broad groupings of career specialties or occupations that have common skills and knowledge. Career pathways provide a way for students to explore career options and a framework for linking learning to the skills and knowledge needed for future success. The six pathways include arts and communications, business, health services, natural resources, industrial and engineering technology, and public and human services. As students design their five-year plans, pathways become useful in the selection of programs of study leading towards post-secondary and career plans. Arts and Communication. Arts and Communication is a career pathway that we provide here at Hilo High School that gives students the idea of what kind of uh, professions or jobs that they can take. The kids that should join this class is anyone interested with expressing themselves and eventually in the form of technology. The, the kids that also join this class would be ones that want to know what happens behind the scenes, whether it be editing. Uh, they don't need to necessarily be in front of the camera. Uh, they can definitely be in back of the camera. Students in this pathway have the extended knowledge of what most people don't get until after high school. And some of the careers that they eventually get into would be newscasting, um, video editor, you know, photographer. This course is designed for students who plan to pursue careers in the arts and communication career pathway. Students will be introduced to basic concepts in visual, fashion, performing, written, and media arts. Business. This course is designed for students who plan to pursue careers in management, business, and technology. Students will learn essential concepts that will provide a solid foundation for further study in preparation for careers in business. Problem-based, real-world applications of business concepts will be emphasized. Students will use technology for a variety of business applications and business communications, demonstrate effective customer service, and use accounting concepts to formulate, analyze, and evaluate financial decisions in business. I joined business because my family owns a restaurant in Hilo, and I found it to be a big part in my life, a big part in what my parents would do to 
uh, provide money and support me. And at the same time, I think it's an essential part of life being able to pay taxes and run businesses and support yourself eventually. Through business, I have been able to learn about what my parents do, what my family does to support me. Uh, I've been able to become part of the DECA club and become the president of the club. A lot of people that want to get um, really organize their lives and make a uh, maybe prepare themselves for life after high school, if, even if they're not starting a small business, um, I think it's really useful and it could get you interested in something like DECA or maybe um, you could become an entrepreneur later on and maybe see the benefits of careers. Industrial and Engineering Technology. This is a comprehensive action-based course that introduces students to the following technological systems, design and engineering technology, transportation technologies, manufacturing technologies, building and construction technologies, and electronics and computer systems. Public and Human Services. This course is designed for students who plan to pursue a career in the Public and Human Service Career Pathway. Students will learn essential human relations concepts that will provide a solid foundation for future study and preparation for careers dealing in public service. Culinary, as in many of our CT classes, teaches a lot of the life skills in um, working with other people and in working with the public. It also, I think, um, teaches a lot of the other um, career skills like um, time management um, and using the resources to be resourceful. Um, I think that people who take culinary can use that skill in not only in the culinary field but in many other fields. So I said I think that a lot of students um, actually end up working in culinary for like part-time work. Make, some of them definitely do it as a career but some of them do it as a side job or as a um, part-time work in while they're going to school to earn extra money. Um, you can use it like if you're a, I say a courtesy clerk in the market. I think it's helpful for courtesy clerks to understand some of the um, different food items so that if, if a client comes in or a customer comes in and they say, oh, can I, I forgot to get um, cornstarch. They know where to go get it from. I, I think that even people in the health field can use the skills of culinary. So a lot of the CNA workers go out and they, when they go out, they help their clients, not only in their health care, but then they also sometimes help nourish them. So then they cook meals. So your culinary skill could come into play then as well. Health services. This course is designed for students who plan to pursue careers in the healthcare industry. Using a multidisciplinary approach, students gain essential knowledge and skills about a healthcare system through classroom activities, resource speakers, and clinical experiences in a professional setting. Students will develop key work habits and communication skills for successful employment. Career planning and preparations will also be evaluated. Natural Resources Students will be introduced to basic concepts in agriculture, earth sciences, environmental sciences, fisheries, and forestry. So uh, I guess it's, uh, it helps with food production and if I wanted to pursue a career in farming or if I, uh, I wanted to help others, maybe I wanted to be an agriculture teacher when I grow up. Or I guess it, it helps put me on a few paths that I can take. A lot of the times we spend, uh, like in his farm uh, garden, we planted a uh, sweet potato that we're waiting for it to grow. Um, we're putting up a greenhouse pretty soon, so we were clearing out the area for that. Section 3, Electives. The following is a list of elective types. Army, JROTC, AVID, Fine Arts, including Visual Arts, Drama and Theater, and Dance Education. After school, Hilo High School is home to the Performing Arts Learning Center, or PALC. Music includes applied music, guitar, piano, band, and orchestra. World languages available include Spanish, 
Hawaiian, and Japanese. Here is a list of select grade 9 electives. Visual Arts Advertising Arts Ceramics 1 Computer Arts General Arts Drawing and Painting and Photography Drama, Theater, Dance Beginning Acting Creative Dance Hawaiian Dance Music Band 1 Guitar 1 Piano 1 Orchestra 1 and Applied Music To tell us more about their program, let's see an interview from the band and orchestra instructor, Mrs. Yokoi. The Hilo High Band offers a wide variety of music performance experiences, extended learning opportunities, and character development necessary for life beyond high school. Our motto is growing together in music, musicianship, unity, self-discipline, integrity, and commitment. Ninth through 12th graders learn music repertoire for pep band, marching band, and concert band. We support school events, such as athletic games, rallies, and commencement. We perform at community events, such as parades, Makahiki Festival, and UH Hilo commencement. We also provide extended learning opportunities at band camp, clinics, spring trips, and interscholastic activities, including the solo and ensemble contest, honor band festival, fundraisers, and adjudicated festivals. Just as importantly, students are challenged to become their best in character through leadership and fellowship opportunities in class and in, out in the community. Becoming part of the Viking Band is an honor and privilege because we help carry on the rich legacy of the Blue and Gold Pride here at Hilo High School. I think students should continue in the Hilo High School Band. I think through the band program, it's not just the content itself that you're learning, and that would be music education, but it's the intangible traits that students should learn to make them better, more responsible people as they grow up. World Languages Hawaiian 1, Japanese 1, and Spanish 1 Let's look into one of the Japanese classes and see what this program is all about. So I'm taking a class because I'm interested in Japanese culture. I've been doing Aikido since I was about five years old, and that part of the culture really interested me. And I've also heard really good things about Shihata Sensei and the way she taught her class. She makes the class fun and interactive. Yes, I absolutely recommend this because, especially this language, because Japanese is like a huge language all around the world. Some things we're learning in the class. We're learning about language, obviously, how to speak, um, basic words, talking about your family, describing yourself, all the basic stuff. And we also learn about the Japanese culture. So we learn traditions, historical information. Um, we participate in cultural activities. We do cooking. We've made mochi. Um, we've made soup before. We've done like the calligraphy stuff, just learning about other parts of the culture besides the language. I definitely recommend this class to incoming freshmen. It's a really good class. She really takes the time to make sure that we understand Japanese. And I come out of the class learning more than just about the language, but also about Japanese culture. Career and Technical Education. If you are already interested in pursuing a career pathway, the core class for each of the six career pathways are available as electives during your first year. You can also choose to join the Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps by taking JROTC 1. To tell us more about the JROTC program, we interviewed some of its students and instructors. Um, I originally joined JROTC just to try it, and then that was started for my freshman year. Then I initially um, found that it was very interesting, and I liked the way that they helped um, develop each cadet in their own way. So. That's why I decided to join the program. Well, I would say that it's a good program. You know, it builds discipline, uh, leadership skills, and it's uh, a good way to forge, you know, your future. Uh, it's a positive program for, for kids. What I would say to upcoming Vikings, you know, wanting to come into this program is, is uh, it, it's simple, like, you get what you, 
uh, put into a program. You get what you put into anything that you do, whether it be uh, athletics, uh, physical activity, uh, academics. Uh, but, but here, what we do a little bit further and beyond is uh, the, the Army instructors here, myself, and I have a senior Army instructor, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Hafner, is uh, we take that mentorship process in, in your, your putting in portion, and we kind of guide you to what you're gonna get out of that. Um, here at the Junior ROTC program, it's structured around service. But not necessarily it's, is it tailored to join the service, but we structure all our activities, our lesson plan, um, primarily around uh, service learning and about the services and how they go about con to conduct business. Um, the younger kids coming up, you know, um, they look for a little structure. They, um, not so much military structure, but just structure in, in, in a sense of a good mentorship. And uh, the Junior ROTC program is probably the most e excellent way to do that, to mentor these kids, yeah. I definitely like to, tell everybody that they should at least try it because if they're willing to just better themselves in general or if they're willing to try um, any physical activities, participate in like parades and they want to boost their confidence, then it's definitely a good um, challenge and it gives a lot of opportunities. Um, also, we have really good instructors. They help you along the way. They shape you into a better citizen, which is what our what we're really trying to do in the JRTC program. The last available elective to choose from is the AVID program. Mr. Derek Inouye would like to personally tell you more about it in the following clip. Hi, my name is Derek Inouye. I am the AVID elective teacher at Hilo High School. Hilo High's AVID program is offered to grades 9 through 12. What does AVID do? AVID develops readers and writers, develops deep content knowledge, teaches content-specific strategies for reading, writing, thinking, and speaking, develops habit skills and behaviors to use knowledge and abilities. The AVID elective student's profile has academic potential, average to high test scores, 2.0 to 3.5 GPA, college potential with support, desire, and determination. For more information and applications, see Ms. Tamiya at Hilo Intermediate and Ms. Yoshida at Kalane Anaole Intermediate. I'd like to close up with a short clip about people like me. Can AVID make a difference? Thank you. People like me. People like me. People like me. People like me don't go to college. Nobody's ever going to convince me that I'm going to be somebody someday. Street cred, it's more valuable to me than my education. My life will be defined by those who doubt me. I know there are some out there looking up to me. I'll let those AP and honors students be future leaders and policy makers. Because me, I'm just one out of a long line of statistics. Who knows, maybe I'll even study. But it won't affect how my life is going to turn out. People tell me I can't succeed because they can't see past my skin color or how I talk. They say I don't care enough to be a first-generation college student. I am the last person in my family that's going to be successful. I'm aware of the skills and talents I possess. This is my destiny. That was me before Albert helped me see my potential, believe in myself, and turn all of that around. And now, this is my destiny. I am aware of the skills and talents I possess to be successful. I am the last person in my family that's ever going to be a first generation college student. I don't care enough, they say, because they can't see past my skin color or how I talk. People tell me I can't succeed, but it won't affect how my life is going to turn out. Who knows, maybe I'll even study statistics. Because me, I'm just one out of a long line of future leaders and policy makers. I let those AP and honor students be looking up to me. I know there are some out there, those who doubt me. My life will be defined by my education. It's more valuable to me than street cred. I'm gonna be somebody someday. Nobody's ever gonna convince me that people like me don't go to college. Section 4, Student Activities, Clubs, and Athletics. At Hilo High School, each student shows their Viking pride by participating in student events and activities 
such as spirit rallies, dances, clubs, and athletic events. Student Associations, or SA, is a group of students elected to plan student activities such as homecoming, spirit week, May Day, and lunchtime rallies. Here is a list of clubs available. To view a full description of each club, visit the Hilo High School website. To tell us more about Hilo High School's athletic program, Athletic Director Kirk Kawachi recorded this special video to give you some insight into the sports played at Hilo High School. For those of you interested in participating in athletics at Hilo High School, we have a variety of sports to choose from. The sports seasons are separated into three seasons, the fall season, the winter season, and the spring season. And a list of all sports are located on the Hilo High School website uh, under the athletics section. As far as athletic eligibility, we have several requirements in order to participate in sports at Hilo High School. Number one, all participants must submit a current physical uh, in order signed by a physician. Secondly, all participants must submit an acknowledgement of risk form signed by his or her parents. Both physical form and the acknowledgement of risk forms are located online or it can be picked up at the school's main office or gym office. And lastly, all student athletes participating in a sport must maintain a minimum 2.0 grade point average with no Fs in any class. If you have any questions regarding athletics, please contact 313-5600 or 313-5601. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing all of you on the court or on the field. As you begin your high school journey, keep in mind the vision and mission of Hilo High School. Our vision is striving for excellence. You'll find that each program offered is here to teach and inspire you to do your best and reach your goals. It is our mission that the Hilo High School community as a whole, including students, parents, faculty, and staff, that we prepare you to value self and others and become independent thinkers and knowledge seekers in our changing global society. As you choose your classes, think about how you will use that information to help others now and in the future. We look forward to welcoming you to our Viking Ohana next year. And remember, once a Viking, Always a Viking.